Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to trash talk and I have been waiting to film this video for so long. I've had this bag of empties since my old place. Yes, that was literally two months ago and I didn't want to throw it away. Even though I was moving out, I have to, you know, you have to declutter, you have to get rid of all the junk, all the empty things. When you're a YouTuber, you do the opposite. You're like, oh wait, this is amazing content. The people that watch me probably want to know what I used up. So I have been holding onto this bag and also it has been filling up literally to the brim of so many empty hygiene products. We got a lot of body care, every type of brand of hygiene, you literally name it. There's some hair care products in here as well. So literally not click click. This is probably the largest empties video you will ever see from me. This has been literally two months. Oh my gosh. It's literally like 10 times the size of my face and my face is pretty big. So Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to get started. I'm probably going to be confused a little bit because it has been since May since I filmed this video. So a lot of things on the bottom will be like, oh, I did end up finishing that. Okay, cool. So we'll do quick little reviews as well. So the first thing I finished up was the Suave Kids Watermelon Wonder. This is like a three in one type of thing for your kids, but this has a delicious watermelon candy fragrance. I actually got my brother and my boyfriend to use it as much as possible back at my old place, but then I started finishing it up at my new place. So this is really good. I really enjoyed the fragrance. I probably won't buy another huge bottle of body wash, but Suave has amazing body washes for very, very inexpensive. So I'm excited to have that done. We got this shampoo here. I've actually bought this in the winter semi-annual sale from Bath & Body Works. This is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Shampoo. They have this normally during SAS and whenever it goes 75% off, literally the best deal. For a quick rundown of my hair, I have a lot of hair. I wouldn't say it's like the thickest hair. If you've watched The Summer Turn Pretty, the character, the person that plays Belly, she has like the thickest hair. I would say mine used to be like that, but then it's kind of tamed a little bit as I've gotten older. But I will say I have a lot of hair. My hair used to be super oily. Sometimes it can get really, really dirty up there because I do sh wash my hair every other day. This stuff definitely cleans and almost dries out your hair. But if you don't have an oily scalp, you have very dry sensitive scalp. I don't think it would be the greatest thing. I did get my boyfriend and also my brother, whoever was in the shower to use it up. So this is gone. I probably won't buy this again just because the shampoos are very drying. So if you do end up wanting to get this, I think the best time to use it is after a hard workout or you're outside and sweaty and after it's all like grossed up and oiled up, use this product and it'll really refresh in your hair. So that's my opinion on this, but so happy it's gone. I have a whole bunch of like scrubs. Okay, so I finished up the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shea Sugar Scrub. I think I finished this up at the last place because like I didn't even clean it out. And that's not really normal for me to not clean it out because normally I'll add water and make sure I rub it all my body, but there is still some. So that's kind of weird. I really like the scent. It gives me like a very nice aromatherapy refreshing vanilla. It's not a super sugary gourmand vanilla. So it's really good if you want a spa type of scrub. This is probably what you'll smell when you're at like the nail salon getting your feet done, but I really enjoy the scent. I will get it again. I also finished up the Papaya Paradise Shea Sugar Scrub. I see, I cleaned this one out. See, I don't know why I didn't clean this the other one out, but this one I didn't really like because it was way too artificial. It gave me like an artificial peach type of vibe. I did have a backup of this, but then I gave it to my cousin and she probably finished that up too, but this was just okay. I feel like sometimes tree hut scrubs, their scents can be a little mediocre and I feel like this right here was a little mediocre. I wouldn't rebuy this. I have a whole bunch of Bath and Body Works products, so let's go through the top stuff. I finished up the Winterberry Wonder Body Lotion. I talked about this so long. I feel like it's been like the last two years. I've owned this and I've been talking about it nonstop and how strong this fragrance is. Okay, so initially this was in a Project Pan, Project Use It Up, winter 2020, I believe. And I couldn't get through it all the way. So it was like right in the middle and I gave it to my boyfriend. But the thing is my boyfriend, he doesn't use lotion, but somehow his skin is really soft. 
like make it make sense the thing about winterberry wonder and relationship with it is that it's a very fruity fragrance imagine if you're having a hairspray or dry shampoo that's super fruity that's what it smells like in my opinion this does have cranberry a little bit of vanilla and winterberry but sometimes that winterberry can be so strong and especially if you're using this for like this winter time I think it's a little overwhelming for me, so that's why I can't really get into like those super berry fruity scents sometimes. So I'm so excited that this is done, but I will not repurchase Winterberry Wonder. I finished up Cotton Candy Clouds in the shower gel. I loved this packaging, by the way. This was a Canadian exclusive packaging that they had at the outlet. It was super good. You guys know me. If you are new to my channel, I talk about Cotton Candy Clouds, Boardwalk Taffy interchangeably all the time. It's probably my number one scent because it's a fragrance that I can keep using without getting tired or sick of. This definitely has like a tiny bit of a berry fragrance, but it's not an overwhelmingly fruity fragrance. So definitely think of like a va vanilla sugar candy like fragrance. It smells so good. So I'm so excited to finish that. I also finished up a hand soap. This was actually in the new house recently. This is the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. And this one was used up so fast. I was so happy to see it going really quickly. This has marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, creamy caramel. 10 out of 10 would buy this again. It's so good, it's so addicting. It's not too gourmand, you know, like when you use hand soap and it can be super ickily sweet. This has that vibe, but it smells so delicious, you guys. It almost smells like a vanilla birthday cake, in my opinion, so I highly recommend to get this if you ever see it on sale or at the store. Next up. We got a Hip Hop Hooray Sprinkled Donut Hand Soap. This was probably finished at the old house around the end of May. I also have a Boardwalk Vanilla Cone Fine Fragrance Mist that is literally finished. I actually have a tiny bit in here. I have, I don't know why it's in here when it's like the tiniest bit that kind of annoys me. I know a lot of people don't like Berry Waffle Cone because it's a very artificial waffly fragrance. I think it's like that maple syrup, almost waffle note, almost like that breading that gets people like not into this, but I really do like Bear Waffle Cone. I remember like enjoying this. I used it all up whenever I was in a gourmand mood. And then I also finished up Honeysuckle Peach Tea in the Shower Gel. You guys know I really enjoy this as a refreshing peach tea. It's so good and that one's done. This right here is Victoria's Secret's Pure Seduction La Creme. This has caramel apple, soft gardenia. I love this version because the original, personally for me, is really, really strong, but this one is kind of lighter. It's so romantic in my opinion. I don't know why, but to me, I get super impressed whenever I finish a Victoria's Secret pink, and specifically this brand. This one has just like an extra 0.4 fluid ounces, but I feel like it's just a lot more impressive to finish this up rather than like the Bath and Body Works ones. I don't know what it is, but I am super happy to finish this. And then I also finished up the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter. Love me a good St. Ives body wash. They're so affordable. This one definitely gives me like oatmeal vibes. So if you love a good oatmeal moment, definitely try this out it's really good we got the pure seduction la creme lotion I finished this up i also cut up my products specifically the lotions because i try to get every little lick and split of it up and you guys i found it oh my gosh okay so when i was moving i was moving my own stuff myself i packed everything myself and sometimes i'll put random things in random bags and for the life of me i could not find my wallflower and look it's in here. Well, I don't know what this scent is, but I did finish it. Yay. It was probably laundry day. Coastal This is laundry day. Mm, it smells so good. But I finished this up and I found my wallflower. Finally, I was looking for this. Also, I've been really into the wallflowers lately. They are just so easy to use because all you gotta do is change the fragrance, turn that bad boy on, and let it do its thing. So I've been really into wallflowers at the moment, but... Let's continue on with the next product. I finished up the OGX Rose Water and this Pink Sea Salt Scrub and Wash. This right here was really amazing for the springtime. I will have to say if you need anything for the springtime, specifically hygiene related in the drugstore, get this. It's so good, especially if you love like rose fragrances. It's a nice light rose fragrance, so it's perfect to use in the daytime or in the morning if you're taking a shower. 
I really enjoyed this. I don't know if I'll ever buy it again. We'll have to see, but I do have so many body washes I have to get through. So I was so excited to see that one done and gone. So this is the Dark Kiss Shower Gel. I loved wearing this during the cold months. It smells so good, so sexy. It has like this nice deep, almost incense type smell. And that can be a little off-putting for some people. Personally, for me, I actually don't like the smell of incense. Way back then, my mom would always use it to like make the house smell good. But I just feel like it just smells like smoke, like burnt smoke. But it does have like a specific smell to it though. But when it's in this, it's really good because it does remind me of Midnight's Fantasy, but just with the incense note. Um, I would buy this again, especially for the winter time. Love wearing it. It's such a good scent. We have the Berry Waffle Cone Shower Gel. This was super good in the shower. So amazing. Like I said, love me a good Berry Waffle Cone moment. I also finished up Black Cherry Merlot in the shower gel. I believe I gave this to my boyfriend, but I don't think he ended up finishing it. So I think I finished up the rest or we were trying to move out and I was just trying to like, you know what? Let's just let it get it all done. Let me just finish it all up. So I really enjoyed it. I don't think I will be wearing or buying Black Cherry Merlot anytime soon, but I will tell you this, if you are new to Bath & Body Works or if you're going to start or if you never shopped there before, Black Cherry Merlot is such a perfect introduction to Bath & Body Works because it's a cult classic. They release it out every single year, if anything. And if you love cherry fragrances and like a wine cherry, you will definitely like this. It almost has like a soda essence, but like a deeper version of a soda essence. Okay, got some lotions that I finished. I finished up A Thousand Christmas Wishes in the body cream. Loved this so much. I remember they released out the Lunar New Year version. I had the Christmas version of it. And so I brought it out to pretend that I bought that one because I didn't really like the packaging for the Lunar New Year one as much. So I'm so excited to finish this one. And then I also finished up Blooming Garden. My boyfriend actually got me this whenever I started getting into Bath and Body Works. This has poppy spring water and blue amber. The blue amber is very intense. I feel like whenever you combine amber and florals, it can be a little bad. It can be a little crazy, but I'm so excited to have this one done and out of my collection. And then you guys, I finished up blueberry sugar pancakes and the body cream and the fine fragrance mist. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm so happy. This is such a good fragrance though. They brought it out again, so you can actually get this in store. So imagine a very sugary blueberry. If you love raspberry jam donut, you will definitely like blueberry sugar pancakes. But for me personally, when I wore this, I found it really hard to crave it because I'm not someone who craves blueberry fragrances. Not like my favorite fragrance, you know, but it is a good fragrance. I did wear this with the berry sugar from Pink Sugar. That was, it's a nice combo, but this is a really good fragrance, especially. So definitely try this out if you want something a little bit more unique and sugary and fun for the fall time. I finished up Pink Tie Dye in the body cream yes i'm so happy to have this out of my collection this one was a very apple-y fragrance but it did have a little bit of like this sparkling note to it so think of it as like an apple juice but very pink that's what it smells like it's a very almost aesthetic apple juice so think of it like that it's it smelled really good but i was really exhausted to wear it but i did end up finishing it so Super excited to see that. I finished up Body Ecology's Raspberry and Daisy. This was a really nice scent, but I definitely feel like Body Ecology fragrances do not last at all. <laughs> like after 15 minutes, it goes away, like almost immediately. And I spray these down like water. That's why I like to spray a whole bunch of fine fragrance mist so I don't have to touch it up throughout the day. Actually, I'm actually not a big fan of touching up because I forget to touch up, which is a little of a little problemo there for me. Overall, I, I am so happy that I finished it, but I don't think I will be buying so many Body Ecology fine fragrance mists because even though they're so cheap, they're like $3.97 under $4, I feel like I can wait for a summer annual sale at Bath & Body Works and buy fine fragrance mists that'll actually last on my skin. Just a personal preference. Okay, I finished up a Cotton Candy Clouds Fine Fragrance Mist. You guys already know the drill. I swear every single empties video since last year, I have an empties of Boardwalk Taffy or Cotton Candy Clouds. Literally make it make sense. I also finished up Champagne Sprinkles. I don't think I have a backup of this. I might, but I really did enjoy it. It's a very, how would you say, imitation candy sugary fragrance. 
I think if you love pink chiffon, you will love champagne sprinkles. But if you love champagne sprinkles, you might not like pink chiffon. I actually am not a big fan of pink chiffon because it's super artificial. But if you want something that's a tiny bit artificial, try out champagne sprinkles. But super excited to have that one done. I have a little mini in A Thousand Wishes. I finished this up in the body cream. I have a body cream done in a Boardwalk Taffy. I love the packaging of Boardwalk Taffy, by the way. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. I think it's so fun and summery. And like I said, this is one of my favorite fragrances. And we have next Snowy Citrus Swirl. They brought out the orange vanilla creamsicle fragrance uh, this summer. But I personally believe, and in my opinion, I think Snowy Citrus Swirl smells a tiny bit better. Because it's not so fruity and zesty like a very strong citrus, like orange, the orange creamsicle one has. This one has more of like a warm note of an orange rather than like that fruity bright version of the one we had this summer. It's gone. <laughs> I actually finished it because of the orange creamsicle fragrance that was coming out this year. So sad times, sad times, but it was an amazing fragrance. I finished up the Fine Fragrance Mist and Honeysuckle Peach Tea. I've talked about this a lot. Very nice, such a nice true peach tea fragrance with a tiny bit of honeysuckle it smells so good we have a fresh gardenia this one was such a hard five fragrance mist to use and the only reason why was because my little spray nozzle was broken so i had to work double the time to finish it up but i got it all done it has a nice gardenia clean fragrance perfect for the springtime like it's a nice breezy moment this is the best time to wear fresh gardenia but so excited to have this done and then you guys we have cactus blossom in the body lotion so done with this i don't think i'll be wearing cactus blossom anytime soon because i went crazy this past spring trying to finish it up it does smell so good you know what i actually do think cactus blossom is a staple for the springtime it smells so good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I might buy it again, maybe within like two to three years if they ever release it again. They probably will because it is the faucet collection, but I'm so excited to see the progress. You guys see like this is all within like the last like two months. Like that's crazy. That's, that's a lot of product. Um, I have a body lotion in Cotton Candy Clouds. So we do have that whole set of finishing Cotton Candy Clouds. I feel like I keep saying Cotton Candy Clouds and it's being very repetitive, but anyways, I finished up the Tree Hut Frosted Sugar Cookie Shea Sugar Scrub. This was really good, but it definitely had like a snickerdoodle cinnamon almost effect to me. I'm not a really big fan of cinnamon. I don't think I will rebuy this because they have so many other fragrances in their Tree Hut line. So I'm so excited to have this done, but I don't think I will repurchase it again. Okay, I finished up a set of Forever Red in the body lotion and also in the fine fragrance mist. Love, I love Forever Red. I think this is a staple for any time in the winter time or in the beginning of the new year. This one smells so good, you guys. I have to read out the fragrance notes. It has pomegranate, red peony, vanilla rum, and oak wood. Like this is a perfect, sexy, sweet fragrance that's not too overdone. I definitely think that if you want to make a little statement, but you don't want to be the main character, this is what I think it would be. But if it, I think if you add like a perfume on top of it, Whew, you are a shoe-in bestie. You are literally a shoe-in. And then I finished up the mist in pink tie-dye. Love to see that. Pink tie-dye was definitely a little bit hard to finish up, but I honestly, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I will repurchase pink tie-dye again, but it was nice to have it while I had it. I finished up Velvet Sugar in the body lotion. Velvet Sugar, personally for me, even before I got into like the crazy world of bath and body work. It's a very nostalgic scent for me because I wore it a lot during my undergrad years in college. And whew, scent memories can be good and a bad thing, but personally, I am so excited to finish this lotion up. I love wearing this during the cold months as well because it's a very rich, sweet, sexy fragrance. If you love the fragrance of perfume with sugar, you will like this. Next up, I finished the Dial Silk and Orchid Moisturizing Body Wash. I got this for my friend Diane. She found out I made hygiene videos and she does couponing. So she gave me a couple of their body washes to try out from her stash. And I 
think it's a very mature fragrance and in my opinion if you don't have like a coupon or you don't extreme coupon like my friend i feel like the dial body washes cost so much they cost like five dollars for like this tiny thing you know and i feel like brands like suave and saint ives make better body washes for a better bang for your buck in my opinion i feel like dial body washes they are definitely stripping a little bit more stripping than like the other brands in the drugstore moving on i finished up the champagne sprinkles body cream i don't think i mentioned if i would repurchase champagne sprinkles but i probably wouldn't just because it is a tiny bit artificial for me but i don't think i will repurchase it anytime soon though i do have the cactus blossom and the shower gel that's done as well love cactus blossom i honestly i feel like i want to shame cactus blossom I'll give her a little bit of shade in some type of way but once you smell it it's also it like it smells literally amazing i love it so much so i can't say good enough things about cactus blossom and then we also have the shower gel in pink tie-dye love a good repetitive moment and then right here i have finished up the mini size of the you're the one body cream you're the one is a definitely strong rose fragrance if you love or you need a rose fragrance definitely try out you're the one it's very strong and i'm so excited that i finished up the travel size because i don't think i could ever buy a full size body cream of you're the one i have the mist in it but i don't think i could finish up whole thing of it because it is so strong okay and the last product that i have in this basket is the berry waffle cone body lotion and you guys this smells so good like i said i have like every version of berry waffle cone that's finished in this little area and thank goodness i'm so happy because i'm finally able to recycle and throw all this stuff away that's been in my body care closet for so long i do want to say something too and it's just a little bit shameful for me but it's okay i'm gonna admit myself because here's the thing i haven't touched this bag in the last month and a half that i've been here and so i just realized all of this heavy stuff. Whoa, there's another thing here. The body cream and the honeysuckle peach tea. Finish that. So good. Really nice for a refreshing floral peach fragrance. Okay, amazing. But the thing I just realized is that the reason why this thing was heavy is because I have my mirror in here. Uh huh. I've been trying to find this mirror forever, but I don't know where to put it. I think I'm going to put it in the bathroom. And then I also have this clock in here that I put in. Why did I put this clock in here that I've had since undergrad freshman year? I don't know why. This was actually my dorm. So we're looking at pre prehistorical times. And then lastly, I have this little outlet thing that I've been trying to find. I couldn't find it to save my life. So you guys, I also have the Fresh Gardenia body lotion. This was getting a little watery, so I'm so glad that I finished this whenever I did finish it. Really good. Fresh Gardenia is such a nice fragrance. And that concludes the empty bag of my Forever 21 Hygiene Body Care Empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's so many products in front of me. I'm so like overwhelmed right now i'm getting a little anxious so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you have finished up recently in the past month like me or if you have finished something up today let a girl know down below i love knowing what you guys end up using up and that is everything thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.